Hi. <laughs> Welcome to Hurting Little Cows to the Glory of God. We are sitting at the laundromat right there, waiting for our last load of drying. So this morning, we came to the laundromat, put the laundry in, went and got our Walmart order, came back to the laundromat, changed clothes around, went to Kroger to get our groceries, which we then got loaded in the van, came back, needed to put a little more time on the dryer. Now we're going to head and take this big stack of books back to the library. I'm not gonna tell you about every book because some of them were just kind of like, eh, nothing really to watch out for. I just wanna tell you the books that we actually like. So um, hold on a second. So these books we really liked. Don't know much about Pioneers, Pilgrims, and Presidents. They are by Kenneth Davis. He also has written a book that is for adults about history stuff, but those ones the kids really liked. They're just like little snapshots of history things. Rifles for Weighty was a book that was given to us. <laughs> we have someone knocking on our door. Um, Rifles for Weighty is um, a book about, um, Samuel, what's the book about? It's about a boy <laughs> from it. Kansas who um, joins up who, who joins up with the Union Army, and he um, becomes a he becomes a scout, and he is stuck hey. behind enemy lines. Hey, Maria. Okay, hey. what are you doing? Very basic. Okay, so it, this book is from 1957. It's an older book, and it won the John Newberry Medal. Um, it has a little love story in it, so if you're against that, but this is a favorite of a, some friends of ours. So as soon as we got back in town, we got this book, and Samuel really liked it. Okay, some favorites. Baby's playing with one. Hey, don't rip the book. Mouse what do you mean? This Ellen Stoll Walsh. There's also mouse paint. There's Dot and Jabber, um, which are about these little mice. So these ones introduce very basic shapes, colors, those types of things. These ones um, do um, little mysteries about nature things and explains the nature part in the back. We really liked these Dot and Jabber ones. Okay. Joe McDonald is a little girl. It's the song Joe McDonald um, goes to the forest and she Old finds McDonald animals. Yeah. Um, I know, but it's Joe but McDonald. Joe McDonald, like Joe McDonald. Yeah, yeah, yeah. is his granddaughter. Granddaughter going through there. Yeah. Potato. This is a story about how potatoes um, were eaten for lots of meals yeah. during the Depression. It's a little girl saying this is why she likes potatoes so much because of her grandparents. Hi. Lucy Summer. So, um, hold on. Another book. I got another book here. Ox Cartman is one of our favorite books. It's about a guy and all the things that his family makes. He then goes to the city, they sell everything, and go home and make it all again for the next year. And that's how they make money for their farm. Do you like that book, Samuel? <laughs> this book is also by the same guy. And it's about his grandmother. And she ran a millinery shop out of her house, which is making hats. And it was very interesting. It's from the 1940s, I think, and going to Boston with his kids. Okay, here's... So okay, you guys, this about... is a video about books, not how many silly faces you can make. Okay. <laughs> but, you know, whatever works. A classic works. that everybody okay. likes. Um, this is Eric Carle, um, and he's got multiple books, but this one, Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What You See, it goes through a bunch of animals and colors. Like that. Here, Daddy. Sorry, I'm passing off the books that aren't as interesting. Okay, last set of books, Robert Burley. Um, we still have more of these that we're reading, but he just writes really interesting books about different aspects of life. This one is about a messenger who rides a bike through the city delivering packages or letters to people. And it was just very interesting because my kids don't have any knowledge of what that looks like in a city. So it introduced us to a new topic. And um, the pictures are really neat. It doesn't have a whole lot of words, but just looking at the pictures and seeing what's going on just introduced the kids to some city life they had never seen. And another one by Robert Burley. This one's about Edward Hopper paints his world and it's about the artist Edward Hopper and his life story. He has a lot of stories about real life people and um, I just really appreciate them. The pictures are really neat and I don't do like in-depth studies on art with my kids but it's introducing them to lots of different art concepts and different things like that. So that's our stack of books today. We're gonna go get more books. We'll do another video next week on the books we like. <laughs> What, are you, What's wrong with What are you doing? <laughs> Can you say bye? Bye. Can you say bye now? Bye. 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 Can you say bye? Bye. bye.